Excited about Airsoft? Hit the like button and comment to join other Airsofters in the conversation. What's up, Airsofters? The FN Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle, or SCAR as you may know it, is a classic small arms weapon design. It's up there with the most popular platforms, as evidenced by its inclusion in countless movies, video games, and real world combat units since its inception. These right here are the Cybergun FN SCAR L and the SCAR HTPR. We previously covered the Petite FN SCAR SC, also by Cybergun, which is a video you should definitely check out after watching this one. These are essentially full sized versions of that excellent AEG. But before we get too far into the details, let's look at how they arrive in their boxes. One of the first things you'll notice, and something I love about them, is that these Cybergun Ares-based scars come in these incredibly cool blow mold storage cases instead of just a cardboard box. On the bottom of them, you get some model information as well as some safety and specs information. At the center, you'll see both the branding as well as the specific model, this one being the SCAR L, and the color of the one held inside, this one being black. Flipping it down, we're gonna release the latches and open the case where we get a look at both the included instruction manual as well as the FN scar held in place. The other thing I like about these blow molded cases, in addition to visually seeing all the things it comes with, like the loader, uh, the extra spring, an Allen key, and the individual magazine that's included in the box, is that they allow you room to expand for an extra magazine, maybe some accessories, if you end up picking up an EFCS programmer, those can all live in the box along with your product. Despite the obvious differences in length, there are many similarities shared between the models of SCARs in this lineup. At the front, we have a monolithic handguard and receiver made out of just one piece of aluminum. Featured here are Picatinny rails on the three, six, and nine o'clock positions, as well as a truly monolithic top rail, to which uh, are mounted on the SCAR L a set of backup iron sights. The SCAR HTPR is quite a bit longer and has considerably more rail space on all sides and foregoes the backup iron sights as you'll probably be using magnified optics with this puppy. The lower on both of these models is polymer, just like the real thing. The controls are mirrored on both sides, ambidextrous, with a very cool feature, a 45 degree selector lever, which makes switching between the fire modes a welcome change to the full 180 degree sweep of a traditional M4. I really like this feature. Now you might have noticed that the SCAR L and the SCAR H TPR take different magazines. And that's because the TPR is in the real world chambered in 7.62x51. The SCAR L, however, takes standard M4 or Stanag style magazines. So we went ahead and tested out a bunch of different M4 style magazines. Here's what we found. We were pleased to find that the SCAR L, just like its SC counterpart, had absolutely zero issues fitting and feeding every single Stanag pattern magazine we threw at it. Let's talk about the pistol grip, because it's actually really cool. The polymer pistol grip on this AEG might not look all that special, but it's actually a slim motor grip, which is more true to life in shape than the regular AEG motors you might be more familiar with. It's really comfortable, and while you can always replace it with any motor grip you like, I recommend keeping this one. At least try it out. That slimmer profile is a lot more comfortable. Depending on which length you get, the L or the TPR, you'll have one of two different stock configurations. The SCAR L utilizes the ever-famous 
UGG boot stock, which can be folded for convenient transportation, extended for different lengths of pull, and adjusted for cheek weld comfort using the adjustable cheek riser. The Scar H TPR utilizes an adjustable precision style stock that has an adjustable cheek riser, butt pad, and Picatinny Riz space to attach a monopod. Back here is also where you'll access the battery compartment. On the SCAR L, simply fold the stock and use a fingernail to open the rubber battery compartment seal, where you'll find the included Dean's style connector. The way you access the battery compartment on the SCAR HTPR is more akin to our previously reviewed SCAR SC, in which an included Allen key can be used to move a release lever that can be accessed via this hole, allowing you to slide the stock downward, revealing the battery compartment. This one is also wired to a Dean style connector. Speaking of battery compartments, we've found that the best battery for the job, this one right here, a Matrix 11.1 volt 1200 milliamp stick style of battery, sometimes called an AK style of battery, since the mock bolt needs to be able to fit around the battery to operate and lock in place, and there's limited space inside, your best bet is to go as slim as possible. The battery we used for this video can be found using the link in the video description. And there's no wiring or ring terminals that go into the stock itself in either of these models, which is a key upgrade from other styles of SCAR AEGs currently on the market. Even though you might need a more specific battery for this AEG, you get to avoid all of those known issues that other SCAR AEGs have. And since we're back here, let's discuss how to swap the spring on these bad boys. One of the really cool features of these AEGs is their quick change spring. Like to gain access to the quick change spring guide, we recommend that you go ahead and remove the five hex key screws at the back, allowing you to remove the stock completely. That said, Ares did include a lower power spring in the box along with your rifle, so you can go from outdoor to indoor legal in a matter of minutes. Our FPS test was performed using both the pre-installed spring and the extra spring included in the box. The pre-installed spring showed an average FPS of just about 360 and about 17 rounds per second on full auto in the SCAR L. The extra included spring resulted in an FPS measurement of about 345 and a rate of fire of about 17 rounds per second again. The SCAR HTPR's performance figures were just about 365 FPS and about 16 rounds per second on full auto using the pre-installed spring, and about 330 FPS and about 17 rounds per second on full auto once we installed the included extra spring. All tests were performed using 0.20 gram BBs and our Matrix 1200 milliamp 11.1 volt 20C LiPo battery. In our distance and accuracy test, the Cybergun FN SCAR L was able to land most shots on our six inch plate and placed a nice tight grouping on our EVIC professional silhouette target at 50 feet. Out at the 100 foot mark, the six inch steel plate proved quite elusive for the SCAR L, but it was still able to land 80% of the hits on the body sized silhouette target. Moving on to the SCAR HTPR, the 50 foot test was a cakewalk, hitting both the steel plate and placing a nice tight grouping on our silhouette target. Out at 100 feet, the six inch plate once again proved a difficult target to hit, but it was still able to land 100% of the hits on the body sized silhouette target. For tighter groupings at longer distances, both these SCAR AEGs could benefit from an upgraded inner barrel hop-up bucking and nub, all of which are available right here at evic.com. One thing I will mention though, is that these AEGs are programmable with the Ares EFCS programming unit, which lets you change settings to burst or semi-auto locked and other really cool features. Uh, the downside is that these programming units are on Tamiya connectors, so you'll need an adapter to plug it into your SCAR AEG. And the only other drawback that I could, could think of is, is that they're available separately. They don't, there's no programming kit that comes with them. Overall, you've got a pretty standard set of internals that are robust for the level of performance of the FN SCAR L and SCAR H TPR AEGs, and you shouldn't need a lot of upgrades. If you do want to change things up, just make sure that anything you're swapping in is Ares EFCS compatible. And if you're interested in an in-depth look at the FN SCAR L and SCAR H TPR AEGs, head over to our Cybergun FN SCAR SC AEG video, where we do a complete teardown of all that makes these puppies perform as well as they do. Few rifle platforms can claim the sheer versatility, ingenuity, and popularity garnered by the SCAR series of rifles. Light or heavy, subcompact or TPR, the SCAR series has a variant for you. These newest releases of SCARs from Cybergun are lightweight, tunable, and packed with modern convenience features that make them a complement to your airsoft arsenal. You can find all of the Cybergun FN Herstal licensed FN SCARs and everything else your airsoft game needs right here at evic.com. Thanks for watching.
Want even more Airsoft content? Hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon. Follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook for epic weekly giveaways.